welcome to another episode of Veterans View. And I'm your host, Leroy Davis Jr., retired Navy Chief Petty Officer. And today we have with us Miss Cynthia McKinney from Beyond Expectation. Well, we have been working together for years. But one thing I want to do today before we start, Cynthia, is just say that our theme, uh, a new thing that I, I thought about, you, you know, is uh, when you do good towards others, it always comes back to you. Yes, it does. And uh, before we go on and, and, and let you tell us about Beyond the Expectation, we're going to take a quick station break and we'll be right back. Wait, touch it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. What is it? All right. What's your favorite food ever? This is tough. Salad, mac and cheese, pancakes, and popcorn. My dad's steak pizza. So good. What food do you dislike most? I hate cheese. Vegetables. Spinach. Tomatoes. What's a face you make when you eat raw tomato? I don't eat it at all. What do you do when someone gives you food you don't like? Play with it until it got cold. I'll say, hey, what's that? They look that way because if it was gross, then <laughs> why would I want to eat it? Did you know that one out of every five kids doesn't have enough food to eat? One out of five. One out of every five kids. Can you turn the bag around and look at the other side? Oh. I didn't know it was in America. I don't know what to say to that. Makes me feel bad. Makes me want to cry. Wow. That's a lot of kids. It's kind of unfair because some people have too much stuff and some people have too little. For me, I always get to eat lunch. And if that's a meal that I'm missing, I will feel very disappointed. It makes me feel like, what are we going to do to fix this? What is something we can do to help fight hunger together? So over there, we have a wall with tons of ideas. And we want to add your idea to the wall. Kid could think, oh, that's not possible, or oh, I'm too young to do this. But it is possible, and you're not too young to do it. Donate money as much as I can. Make Thanksgiving every day. We should all get a group and try to find the foods that would be easiest to give. And we can take the food to homes where they don't have food. That's a small way to have a big effect. Post videos about children not being able to eat. Everyone brings canned food and they build a big fort. And then they donate all the canned food. And then they can have everything for free. If there was a machine that could make food, my machine would change it to zero out of five kids being hungry. The tiniest ripples make the biggest waves. If all the kids in the world got together and did something big, they could impact the whole world. And Cynthia, welcome to the show. And I, I would like for you to start off with you telling us something about yourself and how Beyond Expectation was, uh, how did you come up with the idea of Beyond Expectation? Okay, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Cynthia McKinney. I am the founder of Beyond Expectations Community Outreach and the executive director for myself, I am a mother of four, and I have one grand and one on the way. And Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm originally from Florida. I moved to Russell County in 2010. I now consider Russell County as my home. All right. And Beyond Expectation began in 2010. It was a vision that was given to me by God to feed his children. And ever since 2010, we have been feeding the children, families, and individuals in Russell County that are in need of food assistance that deals with food insecurities. Okay. Well, uh, now, you and I have been working together for quite a number of years, and we talked about this earlier. And I said 2015, but I was off by five or six years or so yes. when we really started. When? We started in 2011. 2011. Mm -hmm. 
and we have accomplished a lot. Now, can you tell us some of your goals for uh, Beyond Expectation? Well, some of the goals for Beyond Expectation is to continue to address the issues of food insecurities, to bring education and awareness to the issues of food insecurities in Russell County. We also are looking to expand our Kids Backpack Buddy program, which we provide weekend food assistance for students uh, from the ages of 3 to 12 years old. They go home each Friday with a backpack of food that will sustain them over the weekend. We wish to expand that as well as um, feeding the seniors. Uh, we started off feeding approximately 75 seniors a year. Now we're up to almost 300 seniors that we are feeding. So we want to continue to address those issues of senior food insecurities. Um, we have a lot of baby boomers that are now That's seniors good. now, and um, a, a lot of them are facing food insecurities. Mm -hmm. And, you know, hunger is a silent um, issue that is not talked about much. Um, it's pretty much shunned upon. But it's very real, and people are living that. And beyond expectation, we want to bring awareness to that. We want to address it, okay. and we want to provide the tools for not only individuals, but the community as a whole, so that we can bridge that gap between poverty and sustainability. Okay, great. Now, here's one thing that I want our viewers to understand, that yes, this is the Veterans View Show, and we are here in the Valley, and we have a lot of retirees. But even more than that, we have a lot of veterans who did not retire, who served two years or four years, but they are also some of the people in need. And that's why I wanted you on the show, so that veterans could understand that if they don't know about Beyond Expectations, that they will know now when they see this program that, hey, that's someone I can call when I need help. And uh, just talking about that and thinking about it, how do you reach out in, out in the outlying areas like uh, Pittsview, uh, Hirschboro, Hatchet-Chevy? Because that's some distance, and we have to get to those people there. So tell us about something you're doing in those different communities. Okay, great. Thank you. We have an office. We have two offices, actually. We have a, our home office is in Hertzboro. It's located in the Elderman Center through a partnership we have with Alabama Council of Human Relations, which is ACHR. Mm -hmm. Through that partnership, we have an in-kind of space. So we're able to address the hunger, food insecurity issues in the rules, er, rural area of Russell County mm -hmm. um, through that location. Um, we also have a location in Phoenix City so that we're able to address those same issues in the city limits. Okay. You mentioned about the veterans, and yes, we do address the food insecurities and provide resources for veterans as well. Our volunteers, we have 50% of our volunteers are veterans, retired veterans, mm -hmm. and we reach out to other organizations, veteran or organizations such as American Legion, where I met you at right. um, several years ago, and other um, veteran organizations to find out if our services are needed. And our services are needed. We provide food assistance and we help connect the dots with resources that veterans need as well as their families. Okay. Well, that's great. And... Uh as I say, are, do, are you in need of volunteers? We are always in need of volunteers. Okay, great. And I know because I used to help you and, and go pick up food and, and bring it. So we want people to know that, Cynthia, will you give us your phone number? Because it'll run across the bottom of the screen and people can know how to reach you and also your email address. Okay, thank you. Our phone number is area code 334 520 -7774. And our email is B-E-C-O dot R-C at gmail dot com. You can also visit us on our website at B-E-C-O R-C dot org. Okay. And you heard it straight from Cynthia. Now, is there anything else that you would like to share with us? Uh, uh, do you have a GoFundMe page or uh, uh, anything that the citizens can do to donate to help this uh, program continue to go because this is a needed program. Yes, we are a very needed program. 
we will you can send donations to our cash app at bco 11 you can also visit our website and we have our paypal information there if you would like to send a donation via our website we also have you all can, you also can mail us your donations at PO Box 2454 Phoenix City, Alabama 36867. And I'm glad you said that because old school people mm -hmm. do not use Cash App, PayPal, PayPal or any of that, that. They need to know how to put it in an envelope and, and mail it. So, uh, Cynthia, we want to thank you so much for all that you do and for all that you're going to do here in the future. And we are going to continue to work with you to, to do those things what we can do to support you. Well, thank you. And it's uh, one last time to say anything you want to say to our viewers out there. What I would like to say to the viewers is beyond expectation needs your support. In order for us to continue to provide food assistance and resources to the citizens in our community, it takes all of us to make a difference. So please support what we do. Please volunteer and give us your help in any capacity that you have to provide for us. Thank you so much. And I want you to keep this in mind, uh, uh, Cynthia. Uh, I do a lot of uh, uh, programs with Alatrade as far as hiring, and, and they're always hiring people. Mm -hmm. So if you got people that not only have food insecurities, but they are looking for employment, Send them to me so I can get them to out of trade and they can get a job. I will do that. So we can keep that word going because out of trade is always doing a job fair. Okay. And so, and that's for we can even help you and come out where you are and do a job fair. That would be great. Now, Cynthia, uh, tell me something about the scholarship program that you uh, have and, and what you're helping our seniors try to get money to go to college. Yes, we have a senior scholarship. It's called the SM Russell County Scholarship, Screws McCoy Russell County Scholarship. We are the fiscal agent for the scholarship program, which means that we manage the scholarship. It is self supporting, and what we do for the, for the students who attend school in the rural area, they have an opportunity to apply for our scholarships. And right now, um, we have been doing this since 2014. Oh, great. And each year, we've given scholarships to six students each year. And we're looking to increase that as well as the years continue. And we've had a great success rate with the students that have received scholarships from the SNM Russell County Scholarship um, Program. We have um, students that have graduated and have become accountants. Okay. They have become, um, um, in their first year of being doctors. So their support, the support from the community really helps these students to reach their academic endeavors. Mm -hmm. And we are very proud of the success. And we follow these students each year. Okay, so you are tracking them. We are tracking them. Each year, we contact each of the recipients of these scholarships. We want to know how well they're doing, their strengths and their weaknesses, if they need assistance with anything. And it has just been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So... None of this would have been possible without the support of the community and supporting this program. Okay, that's great. And uh, one last thing is about the food. Uh, do you need donations of food or, or anything like that? Because we talked earlier about uh, what you do with the buddy, Backpack Buddy Program and feeding the seniors and everything. And we talked about donations because the numbers run across the bottom of the screen. But I, I think I need you to let the citizens know that if they want to go to uh, the commissary or to Publix or anywhere and buy three or four turkeys and, and bring it to you as a donation for the mm -hmm. Thanksgiving box coming up and also Christmas coming up, that, yes. that would be greatly appreciated. So let them know what, what you're in need of. Okay, thank you. We're definitely in need of food donations. 
Any non-perishable items, we welcome it. As Mr. Davis mentioned, the holidays are fast approaching and we definitely have families who are in need of support during that time. So any perishable items such as turkeys, chickens, cases, I mean, packs of meat, cases of meat, we'll definitely welcome that as well. Um, so that we can be able to distribute food boxes for the holidays for the families that we're currently serving. And, that, that, and, and uh, one other thing, and that is a process to get in this food because you are tracking people to ensure that the people who are in need get this food instead of just people, well, hey, free food, I don't have to buy, I can spend my money for something else. So you are tracking. Yes, we are tracking. Okay. Well, great. It was great having you on the show today, Cynthia. Thank you so much, Mr. Davis. Okay.